question. Do it fart. Oh, does it fart? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grammar police over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> does it? Um. See, I'm ignoring him until he answers the question. You talking about my butthole? Yeah, bro. Where I'm doing fire, boy. Do your butthole fire? That's far from time to time. Oh, shit. Why do you want to know? It's curious. Why do you want to know? Because I'm half chubby. Because <laughs> I'm having one? <laughs> I'm having one. Yeah, you are. I'm having one. Yeah, you are. 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 Yeah, you <laughs> Hold on. It depends on the what. I mean, honestly, it does depend. It, it, it depends on the hotness, too. I, I, just, I just said it. You wouldn't be dating her if you didn't find her attractive. Yeah, but... You can find a 7 attractive and also find a 10 to be more attractive. Oh, yeah. I'm just yeah, talking about that's with that's your that's girlfriend, that's okay? Yeah, this thing's fucked. So just prepare yourself. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Yeah. What's fucked? Not a Vince McMahon lawsuit. Uh, well, it, it's it's on three people. It's on Vince McMahon. John what Lord, did she do wrong? John Laurinaitis and Brock Lesnar. They all pooped on faces? I, <laughs> one, one of the things Brock Lesnar requested from them <laughs> that's what the molded are. Yeah, that's <laughs> how the victim. It's so funny. He requested. Oh yeah, I was also gonna tell you about the fucked up shit that I get in my notifications on Twitter. It was a part of doing favors. Like you know, you'll just get like some type of like based on your scrolling or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. um, I get, a lot. I get in my notifications every, posts every that turn, no clue how they got there, <laughs> and that's not me being like, oh, I don't know how that got there. It's me and literally just, just being like, what the fuck? I haven't WWE. used Twitter in like <laughs> fifteen years. <laughs> uh, One of the things was a fucking Bugatti. I'm not even fucking joking. It was an expensive ass car. But so I got the most recent notification is just. I haven't been touched in an intimate way for so long that I think I might cry when it happens again. <laughs> I like how everybody went quiet for that. Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome everybody, welcome back to the thing. That's what's happening. Yeah, Tristan's like, when can we come over? And I'm like, you gotta, Never! You gotta ask Darren, god damn it! I put a straw on your butt instead of going home. Oh, I was gonna say, I'll tell you to use my house. No. I've already done enough uh, playthroughs that made me want to kill myself. I just wanted to send nice. a quick hello. Are you recording this? Sure. Oh, oh you're doing the thing that you did soon. before? Yay. Yeah, I guess. Oh wait, no, the muting thing? No, the uh, I cannot the oh, we'll just record the last like hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. Wow, going back to our roots. I know. This, this is hot. Is hot. <laughs> we haven't even got it. Dude, yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a huge crush on Mia when this game first came out. It just seems like a Well, she did just kiss. I mean, technically, you could say it was. It, it, it's like well, leading up to it. He's on his computer. Are you kidding? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta get spooky! <laughs> Robert, turn the light off. Oh. Ethan. <laughs> you were right. I did lie to you. Oh my god, I please! Have... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby, let's Bro! part in his face. <laughs> what the hell? Are you gonna come? <laughs> you gonna... No! Come. Are you close? <laughs> Zay, you wanted me to let you do that to my face. <laughs> yeah, man. I was just grabbing my fucking charger and this man just rips fucking ass. I would have been burnt to a crisp. <laughs> 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 my face would have been burnt to a fucking It's like, Zay, if I would have smelled that, that would have been a free dead leg. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's Ethan. 
Why are you going to dead like me? I think our nose hairs are going to be burnt to a crisp here in a second. Speaking of nose being burnt to a crisp, what is that game? We're back with more Black Gaming. Oh, yeah. We're going to be playing Resident Evil 7, Darren, Jalen, and Robert Vizze. I don't know how, but she's back. We can't. It'll feed back into the microphone. Yeah. Jalen, you ever freaking game before? That's what subs are for. Sorry. It's okay. I, I, I do like subs. Well, I know. Subs. I, know. What if it um, I like the uh, cold cut combo know. at Subway. Yeah. I go for the rotisserie style chicken. I like the meatball marinara. I also hey. like the goth ones. Damn. Yeah. Subs. Dude, goth subs? Goth subs. What is that? Submissive goth. He's like, oh. <laughs> I've never made one. <laughs> big old titty ones. With a big, big old chance. Oh. Wow. <laughs> we had a the big old chance. We had a big we had a miscommunication chance. there. Listen, we're not misogynistic in World Warp Gaming. This is a a pretty good uh, good graphics. For 2017, it's yeah. a pretty good looking game. I I would have such a good. Okay, there's my kids for the day. And the day. We know. Check your objective. <laughs> Instead of check your privilege. Has I always forget that this objective. exists. I don't think I ever have used this Me outside either. of this opening sequence. <laughs> Me either. Holy crap. And that's only because it tells me to do that. Yes, I never ever once referred. I didn't even know there was a map until you just brought it up. I know. I don't know. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. And, you know, you could say there's no such thing as Santa. But as Hitler wanted to do grandma, this before we Grandpa. <laughs> Hitler. Oh. Oh. What? Uh, did you not hear what he just said? Don't no, uh, me. Uh, him first. Uh, I came. <laughs> Darren, add in some splooshing sound, please. Thanks. I'm going to open this truck. <laughs> Open it like my mind. Um, where are you going? I wish we had a camera. Sewer Gators, episode 7, to join us. Sewer Gators. Bye, Bobby. Please don't die. If I pay probably your money, will you get like a bunch of like frozen food or something? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Accept our gift. I was thinking just a, a bunch of those like big old dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you dip in those. Holy things. shit! There's a mouse up there. I'm not even joking. It was right above your fucking head. It was on the top of the fucking couch. I don't believe him. Zay, no, I'm being so dead ass. Can you see anything, Darren? No. I went behind the couch. We paused the game for this. We saw Jack Baker. We did. I'm fine, I'm a liar, whatever. Um, Coincidentally, right as he said, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if there is a mouse, I'm just not going to move. Yeah, it's pretty out over here. Ah! 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 Sorry. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he was fucking playing! He just hurt me! Okay. Oh, I see nothing. Seven minutes money on messenger, and I'll go get stuff. Hi, motherfucker. Hi, motherfucker. Hi, motherfucker. If that mouse comes near me, I'll just kill it. Eat his ass. <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Did you ever see? Ah, this would have been back in like 2012 or something that I I discovered it. It was uh. It was like Ghetto Kid wants his change back. Yeah. Oh. It's like at a he gas station. A yeah. Al <laughs> Wilson, the underdog. Yeah. Yeah, I remember my friend brought that up at one point, and we're like twelve, yeah. cracking up at that shit. Is it something like that? Give me my motherfucking change, bitch. It's like a fucking six-year-old kid. 
Which honestly is really the only reason that it was funny. Because he's like six or seven years old. Yeah. You what? I see that video. I'm just like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, looking back on it, it's very not funny. <laughs> so I'm very glad that I brought it up as a comedy bit. I'm just like, what did this lady do to deserve this fucking food? Didn't give him his motherfucking change. Unless she did do some fuck shit in the day of I don't either. Doesn't seem like that would be the case. Have you ever heard of Goth Girl IHOP? I've heard of it. I, I don't believe in it. <laughs> Is that what you're looking up right now? Yeah, I was trying to fart too. Again? Yeah, what's wrong with me trying to fart? Dude, my ex was traumatized by my farts. Anyway, over 20 missing in two years. <laughs> this is why! I don't know. No, like, we'd be in bed, going to sleep. And, like, even though we're on different sides of the bed, she would feel my cheeks clench. And she'd just be like, please, don't do it. <laughs> Damn, she could feel them quick. <laughs> I got strong cheeks. She can fit, she, she, <laughs> like the butt cheeks, like, it, it, like, it grasped the whole entire cheek to the bed, and, like, <laughs> and, like, sucked her in a little bit, so she could tell. <laughs> yeah, they're just a waiting entrance, that's all. A waiting entrance? Yeah. My cheeks? How else do you understand cheeks, dude? My butthole is not wide open. You go, you know what? Hate. You know what you 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 you, 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 you gotta do? You guys want to go to the dispo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my butt cheek. I'll ride along. Is this what you like, Jalen? So is that is that what you like? Mm. Anything, Derek? Could you please try to put in like a somewhat of like a, a very interested face and put hi. My name is Jalen, and I like this photo. <laughs> Maybe the uh, over-the-shoulder action? My name is Jalen, and this is my shoulder as I look over her. She is beautiful. She got that. And dead. Uh, <laughs> she does the <laughs> She got the fucking blinds. Are you guys coming back later? She got that. No, they just came here to oh. grab Jalen and leave. Uh, D's nuts. Yeah, D's nuts sixty nine. With the exclamation point. Looks like the owners. Balls. So. Z. I thought it sounded like you said bus in the nuts. Bus in the nuts. What? Sixty nine exclamation point. This is interesting. <laughs> oh, love you. Me too. Yeah. We can hold hands again. Oh, we can play Jackbox too. If you want. We could. We could very well indeed do that. I don't want to hold hands with you. I want to hold hands with Hunter. What the fuck, man? What am I doing here? He's my hand holder in the nighttime. Oh, yeah. My sleep holder. <laughs> we gotta do that again, man. That was so much fun. You sleep together? Sure. Ah, it needs a fuse. Man, totally. How original. Yeah, totally don't see this trope in Ever. really anything else. But also, Zane, look at this picture. Oh my god. It's... Uh, Jack, Marguerite, you got Zoe, and then you got no. Lucas. Oh. Wait. Yep, nope, you're right, never mind. I like how it looks like Jack is the only 3D render. I was about to say, Jack's the only one who actually looks like his character. Yeah, he's just like, yeah. We're, um... We're, uh... We're, we're NPCs. Yeah, no, you're right. I was thinking of, uh... 
Evelyn as the daughter. But you know, you're absolutely right. That would be Zoe. Because I was gonna be like, there's not, there's no Zoe. Yeah. Really throws you up, but no, it's just foreshadowing that there's somebody else here. I did watch the uh, uh, gameplay of like when the Baker family first finds Evelyn. Yeah. And I want to shoot that kid in the face. So bad. This poor family. Well, no. The DLC in this game really added a lot to the story. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like the one when you're we play Clancy Javis. Mm -hmm. And you're, I think you're playing blackjack. I think. I love that one. That yeah, one's yeah. so fun to me. And the one where um, you play as Marguerite's uh, like child or whatever. Where you say? Zoe. D D D D well. Do you want Oh no, you're still Clancy in that. Yeah. You're Clancy for, uh, I think, all of the band footage DLC. And I don't think I will ever play Ethan Mosquai because my brain will melt. Yeah, no, that one's hard, dude. That, oh my god. I don't think I've ever beaten Ethan Must Die. I think, um, my pee pee would hurt. Because, like, in the beginning of that, you're one hit from death. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. I mean, I think. I think, like, two, maybe three hits if blocking all of them. Would you, could you imagine if I died? Every time I died, I'd take a shot if I did that. That sounds like something you would do. Oh, God. Not going to lie. Almost as if I spoke I'm an alcoholic. Oh. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. I... You know. <laughs> Cut, cut, cut that out! Cut that out! I was gonna say, can do you? What? What do you? What happens if you just don't follow? It? I feel like nothing. Yeah, because they're not. Are they continuing? No. Oh no, they are continuing. You just stay here. You're like, I'm the only smart character in this. Oh my god, technically you could. Yeah. Oh god, I was just gonna wait out here and see how long it takes. Oh lord of mercy. I mean, that's what I plan to do. Alright. How's your day been? Good. Very good. Right. We played uh, We played some D&D &D today. That was great. For our first session. I had fun. I can't tell if I want to continue talking over this or fast forward through it in post but I think they might be stopped at the door ah. <laughs> wait isn't there a meme where um, if you look at a certain direction you'll uh, you'll see somebody in this yeah I don't know I know in PT, if you looked above the stairs, you could see Lisa. Lisa. Dude, that, man, we talked about that before. We've talked about it so many times. I, just, oh, I love it so much. Me too. It was so good. That was just a okay. teaser. All right, let's go. I can't hear you. I can't hear Sounds like somebody needs a master lock picker. Hey. Also known as my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, shitty sound. Ooh, is it haunted? Oh, is it haunted? I don't know. Would you technically count this as a haunting? Oh, an anchor, you know? I don't oh, think so. Not anchor. What's that? It's definitely creepy and spooky, yes, but. It is, yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count it as. The story, Andre. Would you count a poltergeist as a haunting? Would you count Evelyn as a poltergeist? Well, I guess technically, because they're being taken advantage of by, uh, or in influenced by, by uh, Melody, of course. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, True. I, I would take it more as mind control, though, than... Jack and Marguerite Baker. I don't know. I I enjoyed the story of this very, very much. Mm -hmm. and I, I may get some hate for this. I like this game a hell of a lot more than 8. Yes, I, I agree. 
I will be there with you <laughs> to withstand the hate because Although, holy crap, my assumptions for that game were so Andre, wrong. What do you think? Like the I, oh, man, I was so looking forward to like Andre. the way I saw it. Chris Andre. was going to Clint, be infected and turned into a lichen. And that would have been interesting yeah. so if you know, stuff like that though is part of why i don't listen to rumors and stuff yeah yeah i mean well here was my here was my assumption when i first saw the trailer right when you first see i'll, I'll start with heisenberg because he's the one that although the like, cover does kind of look like chris half exactly. chris half like yeah, it to be fair yeah. too which i thought would be cool because you know yeah we saw him in the first game code veronica you know five what the fuck was that uh and six Did you hear that? but um, and a bunch of spin-offs too yeah yeah and and this i forgot about this one too but uh anyway um Andre? it'd be nice to see not that his character isn't what fully is fleshed out but i'd like to see a different spin on it it's like oh he's probably seeking the source of umbrella Andre, where are you, man? and he needed to cure himself of a certain disease, but I didn't. Have Dude, Chris is so old now. He is. He's very old. Especially after the um, whatever expansion from eight. Yes. Or your Rose. Yeah. That. As soon as I saw those Dementor looking dudes, like the from mm -hmm. fucking Harry Potter. Yeah, you kidding me? I was like, really? All right, really? new deal. Yeah, but, like, just seriously, if you think about it, because I'm pretty sure when the games come out, whatever year it is, is canonically the year yes. in the in the story. Yeah. So Resident Evil 1 was, I think, 98? Ooh, 90, 90, I think either 90, oh, look it up. 98 is what's sticking out in my mind for some reason. Yeah. I think they might be the second game, I don't know. Or like maybe ninety seven. I think it's ninety seven actually because in uh in the movie I think it's ninety seven the the one that's actually based on the games. Yes, you were right. Uh, main game came out in ninety eight. Oh okay okay. Yeah. Then maybe story wise it was ninety seven. Yeah. Or maybe it was ninety eight and I'm just crazy. Uh, but then two and three take place right around the same time of each other. Yeah. Um. Which is like a month after one, I think. What do you see? Yes, what is it? yes. But so, Resident Evil 1, 1997, 1998. And then we get to Resident Evil 8, which was 2019? 20. 20. Uh, no, not 2019. 2021? Yes, 2021. Um. Because that was when I went through my big goth mommy phase. And then, when you're Rose, it's, I think, 16 years later. Wow. That's a really old bastard. So he's, let's say, conservatively, considering he's Jesus. in STARS, which is a special command force, mm -hmm. let's say very generously that he's, like, 22 Yes. in Resident Evil 1. That would make him... Eight came out in twenty one. That would already double his age, so forty two plus like three years would make him like forty five, and then another sixteen on top of that. Yeah. Let's see, only was an eight. So assuming Chris was around twenty five years old as of Resident Evil, twenty three year old twenty three year long jump to the events of Resident Evil eight. Pushing him about 50. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And then again, 16 years later with the DLC, and yeah. I would assume whenever they come out with 9, it would take place after that, after the DLC. Uh -huh. Everybody really just left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, it's just like the old days, right? I know, right? <laughs> Fuck them. Also, the last game that I played uh, was definitely not whatever it's called. The the battle royale you were talking about. Battle royale. No. 
uh, episodically, not because that was also a stream too. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but episodically, I think the last one I played with you was uh, Man Eater. Oh yeah, I forgot. And about then that. I have played a couple episodes of the first Resident Evil, and I played a little bit of Doki Doki with Andrew and Scarlet. Nice. And also, it takes two with Andrew. Well, yeah. yeah. While I was living in Muncie. It was fun time. Yeah, dude. I remember the first night I, I was like, I can't be sick. <laughs> that I was like, where do I park? It was just covered in snow. It's like, yeah, do you need to park in the back? I'm just like diagonal. <laughs> <coughs> A little gurgle in the water there. Uh oh, we're gonna see the one guy. We're gonna see a person. Oh my god, no. Dude, my friend Wyatt is playing this for the first time right now. Yeah. And he's playing it in VR. Oh my lord. His first time playing it. Oh, there he is. Imagine that in VR, dude. Oh my god. He said he just got to the basement for the first time. Makes me wanna fucking come. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't I haven't eaten a whole lot today either, so this is uh those sliders, man. Those sliders make me guessy. They must have been made to be fixed. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> is this where we find her already? Yes. Yeah. Use the feet chest tape to unlock the door. I think, though, let me check myself real quick. Yeah. Oh, well, we can keep going for a little bit. Clancy L. Lucas. Because Lucas is using him for his games. Oh, yeah. And he, Clancy, I'm pretty sure, canonically dies in the happy birthday video. Oh, yes. Yes, he does. I forgot about that. Ooh. I'm going to see if my one of my favorite Resident Evil games is on Steam. And then there's just Mia. Uh, which one is it? Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak. Oh. oh my god, dude. Was that, that for like really PS2 bad. era around yes. there? I think I have or had that. Oh my god, dude. That was, oh, it was so good. I think it was like the first time that PlayStation ever like dabbled in like online gaming. I could be wrong. I mean, PS2 era, yeah, probably. But I, oh, I just... Loved I mean, it. PS2 era is probably the first time anybody dabbled in that because that's around the same time as the GameCube. Oh my god, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I just, I love the, the opening. It's so badass. Like, you're in the bar, and then the first zombie comes in, and it's just so, like, macabre. And then all the zombies come out, and, oh, it's so good. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. Did I? Yeah, you would. Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Who's he? Who else is here? What does he have that Why are you surprised that somebody else is here when you literally just found your wife locked up in a cell? <laughs> yeah. There's nobody here. We need to go. Who's here? Damn, girl. Where are you taking me? Some place. Get that from Sephora? Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Maybe it's Maybelline. I do love that this was before they started doing character tracking. Because <laughs> I could just be like all the fuck over here and she'll just be looking at the same spot. Like, yeah, I just want to go this way, babe. Can we just go out the, literally the way that I, I mean, I'll figure out how to climb. I'll tr try to evolve into Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> What did they do to you? What did they do? Oh. You need to get off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's this way. Listen to this, Daddy. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, Father, your voice. 
Although, can you play Resident Evil Outbreak on PS5? Although this game is playable on PS5, some features available on PS4 may be absent. See PlayStation.com slash PC for more details. Online features require an account and are subject to terms of service and applicable privacy policy. We can check after this. Uh... <laughs> In this shit, yes. video too. Yeah, oh, yeah that just says Resident Evil. Are you sure you know where you're going? Me, uh, this is why I don't like replaying story games <laughs> normally. Mm -hmm. Like this one's more okay, but like the reason I haven't played the first Last of Us in a while uh -huh. is because it just starts so slow. Oh yeah, it's a slow burner, especially if you want to like. If you know what's coming, you're just like, come on. Yeah. Especially with Last of Us, because a lot of it is just walking around to break out of the city. Have you before watched... you find, uh, what's her name? Have you watched the show? Yeah, I love the show. Nice. Did you know? Have you seen the show? I, uh, I've watched bits and pieces. So, Ellie. <laughs> uh, Bella Ramsey is the actor who plays her. Yes, I've heard about that. That's awesome. She's fucking 19. We're going to be a family. Now that you're wow. Here. Yeah. Could have fooled me. Right? So that's why there's a... An E001. Holy shit, it's an old woman. Kill her. This makes so much sense. No now. Can I spoil it? <laughs> oh. She just leaped out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wasn't that a great spoiler, everybody? Oh Dude, it's great, though, watching... <laughs> what? I'm just rotating. <laughs> it's Mia. Mia. It's so Mia. But no, it's great watching other people play like story games like this that you already know what happens. Yeah. Because uh, when my friend Z was playing this, I was watching him, and he turned that picture over, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you just want to like... Uh... There are just so many dots that you, you don't connect at first. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, we're in. I think this is technically house two. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, even if they weren't, like, under a mind altering situation, who lives here? Well, you know, this would be a really cool place to live in if it were kept up, but they've been. Yeah. They've been like this for, well, I think. Oh my god, yeah. For a few years at least, because it's been like three years since he's heard from Mia. Yeah. And, and Mia, yes, because Mia came on the ship with, wow, we're actually spoiling quite a bit. <laughs> Mia came on the ship with Evelyn at the same time. Yeah. At the, the exact same day. Right. So, however many years he said in the intro that we weren't really listening to, that's <laughs> how long that they've been like this. And that. <laughs> And therefore, how long it's been at least since this house has been kept up. Because the house looks a lot nicer in the DLC. Yes. The, uh, yeah. um, whatever it's called that you play as the prequel. I saw the house. Uh, I, I never played the, the, the DLC, but I, I, I watched gameplay of it. And I was like, dude, this I plan to go all in on this game. Really? With our episodes. Let's talk. Kind of like how I did with two. I'm ready. But right now... We shall end the episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in. Thank you, T and Hunter, very briefly, and Jalen and Bobby for also being here. But they're not here now to say hi. They'll be back. Uh, we love you. Have a happy whatever. Always remember your future's unwritten. Make a good one. Bye. Bye.